Welcome to this beginner-friendly tutorial on Upkeep CMMS. In this guide, we'll take you through the core features, setup process, and practical tips to help you master Upkeep in 2025. Whether you're new to maintenance management or looking to streamline your workflows, this step-by-step -step guide will make it simple to get started. So before we get started, first, let's know what is Upkeep. Upkeep is a cloud-based CMMS platform designed to help businesses manage their maintenance operations more efficiently. It offers a user-friendly interface that allows you to schedule work orders, track assets, monitor inventory, and oversee team productivity, all from a single dashboard. So whether you're managing a manufacturing plant, a property portfolio, or a fleet of vehicles, Upkeep simplifies the maintenance process, boosts efficiency, and ensures minimal downtime. So now let's get started. So simply head over to Upkeep's website and from here you can start a free trial. So click on start a free trial and now sign up for an account. And after signing up, you will now be redirected here in your Upkeep dashboard. So as you can see on your first homepage, you will be redirected to your work orders. From here, you will see all of the work orders uh, uh, that you have created or simply all of your work orders. And as you can see, I have two work orders right here. So this is just a sample work order. So let's say we want to click on the work order. And from here, you will see all of the details about this work order. So if you want uh, to create a new work order, you can always do so by clicking right here in the top right. So just fill up all of this information, such as the title, description, you can always add in images to your work orders. You can also add your start and due date, a recurring schedule, estimated duration, and of course the priority. So simply fill up all of this information right here and click submit to add a new work order. So next is we have the preventive maintenance section. So from here we can create a pre uh, preventive maintenance. So as you can see, we have a, a one preventive maintenance right here, which is for the AC. So this maintenance is, as you can see, the schedule of this maintenance is every one month. This is the location, start and end date, and assigned to this uh, individual. So to add a new preventive maintenance, again, just click right here. So what you want to do is you need to add a work order detail, the schedules, the assets, and locations. So after filling all of this information up, just click on create PM and you're good to go. Next is we have the analytics. So this is your upkeep analytics. So you'll see all of it right here. So as you can see, this has a blank page because it's just a sample uh, system. We don't have any performance yet. Oh, there, it's just, it just loads uh, really slow. So as you can see, it's all of this are zero. There's no graphs yet, no results, but we will see all of this performance metrics right here, such as our work order completion rate, preventive versus reactive mix, completed work orders for top technicians, for top locations. So basically this is all of the analytics. Next is requests. So from here, we will see all of the requests. As you can see, we have one request right here titled air conditioner leaking. So this is the description of the request. So you can approve this request by clicking right here, approve. As you can see, the status is already approved. 
So to create a new request, you can always create one. Again, just click right here in the top right and fill up all of the informations. Next is shared work orders. So from here, we will see all of the work orders shared by other uh, business or other people. So you, they can share it with you right here. Next is locations. So from here, you can add locations of your uh, company. So just click on add location. Next is assets. So from here, you can add your assets. So as you can see, we have a sample asset right here, which is the this one, the train HVAC suit B. Of course, you can always create a new asset. You can also add an image to simplify uh, the work for you. Next is parts and inventory. Again, as you can see, you can add your parts and inventory right here. Again, just click on create part. Next is purchase orders. So from here, you'll see all of the purchase orders. So as you can see, we have a sample purchase order right here where you will see the part number, the cost, the quantity, and of course, the receipt right here, the information and the details. So this purchase order, you can either decline or approve this. So basically here, you will see your purchase orders. Next is meters. So you'll see meters also right here. We have a sample meter here, such as the sweet B temperature. You can create a new met meter if you want. Next is people and teams. So of course, right here, you can add new team members to your work. So just simply type in their email and you can select their user role, such as admin, limited admin, technician, limited technician, requester. So simply add in their email address right here, click on invite, and when they accept the invitation, they will now be redirected to upkeep and work with you in this software. Next is vendors and customers. So basically here are all of your clients. So you can create vendors right here. You can add their uh, company name, address, phone number, website, all of this information, and you're good to go. Next is checklists. So basically, here are your checklists or tasks. As you can see, if you want a checklist, just click there. Next is files. So from here, all of your files are stored. So if you need physical documents or images, you can always add them right here. And all of your team members can also access these files. Next is request portal. So this is the, all of this are just settings for your upkeep account. So basically, th those are all the features of Upkeep CMMS. So feel free to explore more about its features. And in no time, you can now be using Upkeep CMMS for your work. So that's basically it for this video. So if you find this video helpful, please hit like and subscribe. Thanks.